There are two fundamentally different ways of fixing a nest box into a tree. You can either mount it by the bottom of the box, you can sit it on the tree if you like, or you can hang the box from its back on the side of the trunk. We're going to show you both methods in this short video. In this old oak tree, we've actually got some fantastically huge side branches. What we can do is we can stick the box on these big side branches that are coming out either side. Placing the nest box within the branches of the tree is a great advantage for the young owls. If they're coming out of the nest box for the first time, they've got so many more places to perch. The direction the box faces is important. If you can avoid facing it into the prevailing wind and rain, so much the better. But more importantly, make sure the hole faces open countryside. First thing is to sort out exactly, precisely where the box is going to go. Are you going to put some pieces of timber in the tree to fix the box too? Fortunately, we've got Matt and Rick. Hello. They're going to get the ladder up and sort it out for us. Whether you hang the box on the side of the trunk or whether you mount it by its bottom on a big side branch really just depends on the configuration of the tree that you're using. The ladder, in this case we're using a commercial ladder because we're doing this as part of our work. If you're doing this in your own time and it's not work, it's perfectly okay to use a domestic rated ladder. They're rated for up to 125 kilos, so provided you weigh less than 100 kilos, that should be fine. But if you're erecting a big heavy nest box as part of your work or you're doing it as a volunteer for an organisation, you've got to comply with the working at height regulations. You need a fall arrest system, a harness, and this maintains three points of contact with the ladder, which is really, really important. Anyway, Rick and Matt are going to show you how to do it. Here we're attaching a piece of 50 by 50 millimetre pressure treated timber to the tree using screws. If you don't want to screw into a live tree, then either choose a dead tree or use UV stable ratchet straps. In this instance, the back of the box is supported by the tree and the front of the box is screwed to the timber. Every tree is different, so secure the box wherever you can. Now, most of the trees where you want to erect a barn owl nest box don't have a convenient side branch to do the bottom mounted method. So we're going to show you how to fix a barn owl nest box on the side of the trunk. For fixing the back of the nest box to the tree trunk, there are two slightly different methods. You can either use a piece of timber like this attached to the tree and then hang the box from the timber. Or slightly different, you can use recycled plastic hangers available from the Barn Owl Trust. You put a coach screw in the tree and then you hang the box from that. We're going to show you both methods. We've pre-drilled this piece of 50 by 50 millimetre pressure treated timber. This makes it so much easier to drive the nails home. Having found the best position on the tree and ensuring there's enough space above it to allow the box to drop onto the bracket, hammer the first nail in and then check the timber is level before nailing the rest. and then simply lower the box into position and then screw the timbers together. Even easier than attaching timber to the tree is to use recycled plastic hangers. These are available from the Barnard Trust, the whole kit, everything you need is, is in there and we're going to show you how to do it. Attach the hangers to the box using the hardware and instructions provided. Having decided on the nest box position, simply drill a 5mm hole into the tree 65mm above where the nest box will be positioned. This is a dead tree. 
but if you screw into a live tree, always leave 20 millimeters of the shank of the coach screw exposed. This will help prevent the hanger being pushed off the coach screw as the tree grows and the trunk expands. When erecting a nest box as part of your work or as a volunteer for an organisation, you must comply with health and safety law and lift the box using a pulley or some other mechanical aid. We use a simple pulley like this one, which is rated to 500 kilos. down a bit. We're on. If the tree is dead, then you can tighten the coach screw as much as you wish. Finally, nail through the bottom plastic hangers, remembering to leave 20 millimeter of the nail shank exposed if the tree is alive. So there you go, three methods of attaching a barn owl nest box to a tree. Good luck with yours, and whatever you do, keep yourself safe, don't work on your own. You can find more information on the Barn Owl Trust website, and if you'd like to make a donation to support this work, that would be wonderful. <laughs>